Hey YouTube, BM here. Figured I'd do a little video. I, I've been getting a lot of um, a lot of people asking about the Fluval 88, uh, asking my my input on it, and uh, I'll try to do a little video and sum it up. I, I do have one. Um, I don't even know why it's here. I, I'm not using it. I haven't used it in so long. Um, this tank, actually, as you can see, I'm not saying you don't need CO2 because I have a nice CO2 set up on my other tank, but this doesn't need it. I used it a little bit to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it, when it was fresh, uh, I had my lights on too long, now they're on a timer and everything's good, but I had a little algae, so uh, I used it to kind of clear that up, and as you can see, it worked nicely, and I don't use it, I haven't used it in so long, and it works great. It's, um, I even have a couple extra cans, but to me it's just a pain in the ass to turn it on and off, which you have to do every day. You don't want to leave it on all night, you'll gas your fish. Um, the diffuser that they give is actually a really nice one. <clears throat> so nice I use it for my other system. And this is just a wooden air block, which works well also. Um, the wooden air stones work a lot better than the stone ones because the bubbles are a lot smaller. But anyways, um, so I don't use it. Um, I'll show you why, um, I mean, why I'm not even using it on my other tank, because the new system I have is, uh, it's pretty nice. I did research this when I was using it, when I first started out, to see if I could get a solenoid for it to shut it on and off, put it on a timer, like my other one, and I couldn't, I couldn't find anything available. So, uh, I, I just ordered a whole new system, and it's a lot cheaper in the long run, believe me, when I tell you. Um, but anyways, uh... I will uh, give you a, a quick look at my other setup, what I did upgrade from this too. But look at this banana plant. And like I said, I'm, I'm not using the CO2. I use some ferrets a little bit, but look at that tag, isn't that beautiful? That's my lily pad. Look at that thing, just a little tiny tag. This thing took a while, but finally it just, look at that thing. I mean, it almost looks funny in this tank, you know, almost like a elephant in a room, but it's, it's a beautiful plant, look at it. I don't want to mess with it, it's just it rooted right in the sand. and So you don't need CO2, I mean certain plants you do. Um, but, I don't know, this is a little setup here that you don't. So, anyways, we'll, uh, we'll go and take a look at my other setup. Alright, this is, this is what I got right here. Um, big can. You, you buy it once, you, you refill it, it costs like $20 to refill, it's huge. And uh, it's a solenoid, you can put it on a timer, I actually, it, a timer will work fine, it's, it's awesome. I actually have mine on a pH controller. Um, you don't need that, I like it. it, keeps my pH right right at a certain number, you know, whatever you choose to have it at, it, it keeps it right there, within. Um, a lot better than just running it constant, so that also just kind of gives me that much more uh, efficiency for my CO2. Um, that's how I do it. But As you can see, it works nice. Tank's healthy. I got the diffuser. I, you can't even see it. It's tucked. It's in the weeds, which is how you want it. Everything kind of hidden, but it's there. Looks like a tire. Rubber tire. But that's what I say. Um, so that's my input um, you know you can get this whole setup right here it just comes with what you see there <coughs> excuse me then you go to your local welding place is where I went and you buy this can or you can rent it either way and it's like $20 to refill and I'm, I'm thinking the thing's gonna last I don't even know how long uh, seems like forever especially with that it's um so in the long run, <clears throat> yeah, you can go get the cheap, you know, the qu actually it's not even that, I think that's a hundred bucks for the regulator. You're going to pay almost that for the whole system. And then you can put it on a timer, like I said, you don't need to do that. But anyways, that's my input on uh, on the Fluval 88. It works well, but on and off, on and off, and it will get you in the, in the price. The price will get you in the long run. It, it just, you're going to keep buying them cans and, you know go away for a couple of days you ain't gonna be turning it on and off you don't want to leave it off I mean uh, you don't want to leave it on but so you shut it off and then you know you start throwing things out of balance and 
whatever. I mean, you can do it and get away with it, but I, I like that setup myself. But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys.